What's up fellow HVACers? I just changed the uh, ignition module for the, um, the second burner here on a, a Lennox L series unit. Um, I changed the flame sensor as well. This thing had a, a bit of a, an issue lighting off when I did the, the maintenance on it a few weeks ago. So <clears throat> I'm going to light it off in a second, um, but before I do, I wanted to show you the, um, the Fluke 902 meter that I just purchased. Now this is an FC, uh, meaning um, the FC stands for Fluke Connect. Now Fluke Connect is, uh, I guess, um, you can download an app for your smartphone and you can do some stuff um, with your phone and the meter together, like look at some readings or maybe record some stuff. I'm not really sure how that part works because unfortunately I have a work issued Blackberry and um, I can't get the app so I'm a little screwed on that one right now but this meter this 902 I've had one for a while um, but not the FC model and it is a really good meter for the HVAC world I mean it's got volts it's got ohms it's got microamps it's got temperature it comes with a temperature probe. Um, you can check capacitance of capacitors and obviously your, your amp probe. So I'm going to show you guys how the uh, how the microamp function works because I'm about to fire this this unit up. So what you would do is you take the wire off your flame sensor and stick one meter lead. into the terminal like that and once it fires up it doesn't stick in there very well does it when it fires up you're going to want to touch the other meter lead to the flame sensor terminal okay um, so before I fire it up I'm going to set the meter to microamps um, it's got a little backlight on there which will help us see a bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on my board flashing now I've already got it uh, unit test and shift is already pushed over to the side so I'm gonna go and make this thing call for two stages of heat our combustion blowers are running stick my make sure your probe is in the one end of the, the wire Stick the other probe at the flame sensor terminal. And we're going to wait till it fires up. And we're reading 3.4. It's jumping around. So, looks like between. Steady my hand. It looks like like we're reading around between four and five microamps. When I move my hand a bit, it drops. So essentially, that's how we uh, check microamps on a flame sensor with this meter. Now it would help if the. Uh... Give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna shut the unit off. I don't want to overheat the building. So it would help on this module if it actually gave us an indication of what the, uh, the microamps are supposed to be. It doesn't, it doesn't tell us. Now I'm sure if you called the manufacturer of the module you could find out. But I mean, it would be nice to know and then that way when you're coming checking your flame signals you know if your sensor is the problem or if your module is the problem. But yeah, 
nice little meter um, unfortunately I can't hook up the uh, my phone to it just yet so maybe one day okay guys have a good night thanks for watching